Do you ever worry about ending up like Robert Oppenheimer? Almost every decision that I make feels like it's kind of balanced on the edge of a knife. If we don't build fast enough, then the authoritarian countries could win. Um, if we build too fast, then the kinds of risks that, that Demis is talking about and that we've written about a lot could prevail. Either way, I'll feel that, that it was my fault that, you know, we didn't make, exact, we didn't make exactly the right decision. I worry about though, that's those kinds of scenarios all the time. That's why I don't sleep very much. I mean, there's a huge amount of responsibility on the people, probably too much, on the people uh, leading this technology. I, th I think that's why us and others are advocating for, we probably need new institutions to be built to help govern some of this. From a lot of the speeches at the summit, still people are regarding this as a very important technology, but still another, just another technology. I, I'm you know, very struck by that. It's, it's different in category. The, and I don't think everyone's fully understood that. Dari, you called this AI summit declaration a missed opportunity. What did you mean by that? We're on the eve of something that has great challenges, right? There are global security problems associated with that. It's going to greatly upend the balance of power. I think it's unfortunate that there wasn't more uh, a discussion of those issues. You know, there was in the earlier summit in the UK held in 2023, the one at Bletchley Park. I hope that, that future summits kind of reclaim this mantle.